Ah. So as it turns out, the number one question I get on YouTube <laughs> on any video is how much is it? What's the price? Why don't you put the price on the video? So on and so forth. So why don't we give pricing? Let's just get to it. Cause it's a fair question. And the answer is simple. We do. <laughs> you just have to click on the link in the description. Now I realize that it's not the best viewer experience, especially if you're watching on a TV. So let me explain why we choose to do it this way. In its simplest form, it's because prices change and fluctuate and we don't want to misrepresent current pricing. So why do RV prices fluctuate so much? Well, there's going to be three main reasons. And the first one, which is probably the most common is freight. So for those that may not know, the vast majority of RVs come out of Northern Indiana. Now there are of course, some West coast facilities in areas like California, Idaho, and a few others. But again, the majority are going to be from that greater Elkhart area. What this means is that an RV being delivered to and sold in say Dallas, Texas has to travel significantly farther than an RV that's going to say here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. As a quick example, let's just take $3 a mile for easy math. Not that that's a true rate, just pulling it out of thin air, but for easy math, to get to Grand Rapids, you're going to be about 300 bucks to get that same RV to Dallas. It's going to be about three grand. That's a $2,700 swing. That's a big chunk of change, which brings me to the second reason for fluctuating prices, which is RV options. Cause they can take that 2,700 and exacerbate it, make it a whole lot bigger. So let's say you do live in Dallas. You have your eye on the new Montana 3941 FO, a gorgeous front office fifth wheel. You watched a video and it said it was 95,000. Now, maybe that's the top of your budget, but it's the perfect RV for you. And you've worked hard your whole life. You deserve it. But because you live in Texas, the dealer you visit figured customers would want to have a third AC and dual pane windows to make sure that you stay nice and cool on the hundred degree days. That, that makes sense. They also ordered full body paint because they've seen older Montana's with faded graphics. Maybe you have too, and nobody wants that, especially for that price point. However, now, instead of the 95,000 you planned for, because that's what the video said with the added options, this particular Montana is 115,500 and that's not even including the freight we talked about earlier. Now, while this is a pretty extreme case, it's also a very realistic one and it can leave you feeling almost deceived, right? Like you got bait and switched and that's never a good feeling. Now we could use MSRP on videos, but again, MSRP is still going to change based on options. And a lot of people will see the MSRP and get sticker shock and decide to cross that RV off the list, even though they're actually going to pay much less at a camping world location. And the third thing when it comes to fluctuating prices is commodity pricing. I mean, we all felt the pain during the pandemic, did we not? I know someone out there bought something with wood, built a deck, did something, right? You know how expensive lumber was. And during that time, you know, the RVs use a lot of wood. So your framing went up, your cabinetry went up, uh, Luon and your sidewalls went up. And it's not just lumber. We're talking about aluminum, right? And some aluminum built ones, as well as some of the other materials used in RV construction. Now, while it's not overly common for the manufacturer to have a cost increase mid model year, it's certainly not unheard of. And when it happens, it's honestly a pretty big spike. And again, no one, myself included, likes to pay more money than what you initially thought, especially when you're not really seeing a value in it, when you're not getting anything more for it. That's why, in my opinion, the most transparent and honest way anyone can deliver pricing on an RV online is to have a link with inventory closest to you that gives an accurate price, which is why we do what we do. So although it may be one more step than you'd like, I personally still believe it's the most fair way to give pricing, but I'm just one person. What are your thoughts? I want to be as transparent as possible and, and I'm more than willing to change things if you believe there's a better way. So please let me know in the comments and who knows, maybe your idea will make the RV shopping experience just a little bit better for everyone.